Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for another video. So in today's video, we're going to talk about Grass Vibe. What is Grass Vibe? Grass Vibe is a T1 weighted sequence where you can just breathe freely, do a dynamic liver imaging where you get all the faces, you can extract whatever kind of faces you want. So it's a very freely sequence. So it's more for liver dynamic, but you can use it outside the body as well. Nonetheless, if you notice the pre-images, you've seen something like this kind of streaky artifact which really bothers on the pre-images and then suddenly the contrast comes in and it's all good but we're gonna go from that to this I'm gonna show you some tricks here so you can minimize the artifact or at least eliminate it nonetheless stick around and I will show you But also new, my name is Vakna again. I'm an Amurai Red Agopher. So in my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced Amurai topics, tutorials, just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. And for those who've been coming back and supporting me from day one, I really appreciate it and thank you very much. So we know that Grass Vibe is a very powerful sequence. It came around for a few years ago, but for me, I just recently had my hands on it for the last year and I tried a little bit here, a little bit there, outside the body, and also for the liver. Uh, I'm very happy with that, but there are some kind of artifacts, streaking artifacts, which I'm not very happy. Uh, but I somehow tried to optimize or tried to figure out how to eliminate it or minimize it. So without further ado, I will go to the scanner and I show you. All right, we are currently at XA platform. You can see it, this is a 3T, but you can also do it as a 1.5. So we're going to do some, some test here to eliminate the streaking or at least uh, reduce it. So we're going to go to the Siemens tree right here. And uh, we're going to go to uh, grab, just write grass, grass by whatever, just find it faster. You can see this in the folder of abdomen, in the folder of pelvis, and in the oncology folder right there. So let's just go for abdomen folder. Inside this abdomen folder, you can see the grass by right there. So let's go in there, and you can see there are two versions. So one with the test bolus, the next one with the automatically bolus detection, which is more hand bolus technique. So we could just going to choose one of that. Uh, we go to go for the last one. Try to optimize that. Okay. So the queue contains steps with unavailable unavailable was output. Of course, because we already preset the Norwegians, right? But this is for the English. That's why you get this this uh, problem. And remember one thing for the dot engine. Remember this. This is right here. Grasp. Okay. Remember that. I will show you something pretty soon. So I just put OK here, right click, and then I turn off the voice commands because the voice commands here is just that it's the scan is just telling the patient to breathe shallow, continue breathing, and so on. So I just turn it off and I talk to the patient to breathe gentle with consistent pattern. So protocol looks like this. If you're missing this part, is because you don't have the dot uh, I showed you earlier, the grasp the dot. That's why you should find one uh, which uh, let me show you here. So I know this sometime whenever I'm done a grass vibe, oh, this is a good sequence and I try to save it and it's missing this part. So whenever it's missing that part, you won't get the overview of the sequence. So what you do is just mark that and drag it to the missing part and save it. Okay, sequence looks like this. And remember, this is a free breathing sequence. So you need to use a localizer, which is free breathing, or you might lose the top or the bottom of the liver. You don't want to have that. And whenever you can see here, you, you can see there are sat bands here. The sat bands will help to uh, reduce the, the streaking artifacts or the pre-images. So you notice whenever you're giving contrast from the pre to the contrast, the, the, the artifacts are gone, right? But I want to have good pre-images without artifacts. So usually I just angle it like this, try to angle it and try to eliminate most of the body. So another thing you can do, if you want to totally eliminate this problem with the streaking, you can have uh, the telepatient to have the arms above. But uh, going from arms above to arms down, I don't like that. I want to have the patient lying correctly all the time. So there are multiple ways to, to do this. Okay. So I'm going to go through with you this preset right here, explain to you how it works. So as you can see here, in the arterial phase, we have now multiple arterial phases. We have, uh, you can see three arterial phases, but they are room for four. 
why is a rule for four? This it depends on how you set up the protocol, the field of view, the matrix, and the slice thickness, how many slices you have, and so on. This all comes around to what you have available. The Siemens here uh, already had a three multi arterial phases with a temporal resolution of 8.2. What do I mean by 8.2? Temporal resolution is the time between uh, one sequence is done to the next sequence. So if you have a high temporal resolution, 8.2 or 5 seconds, that means that you are able to catch hypervascularity, uh, focal limb lesions. Instead of scanning 20 seconds, you scan 5 seconds, 5 seconds, 5 seconds, and then you will catch the lesion, right? And you can see the Porta Venus, the PV, you have room for 14, but you don't need 14 Porta Venus faces, you only need one, right? That's what also you, what the radiologists are used to. And then you have one delay. And then you can see in the pre-images right here, before you inject the contrast, it takes around 22 seconds. This 22 seconds can change. Sometimes it can be 18 seconds, 20 seconds, it changes. But it doesn't matter because you don't need to do any calculations. It's very easy to use the sequence. Just notice whenever you start the sequence, in this example, it will have a countdown from 22 to 0. Whenever it reaches 0, it means that it already have done the pre-images and it says to you inject contrast. So you inject the contrast. While the contrast is ins inside the blood, it will automatically detect the contrast. Whenever you detect the contrast in the aorta, you can control it. How many seconds do you want to add? So here is five seconds. Why so? Because you don't want, you want the early parenchyma phases. You don't want to image aorta. You want to image the liver, right? So from the detection to the liver, it takes around five seconds or so. That's why you put on the five seconds there. And then you go arterial, previous, and, uh, and the delay. So the sequence takes around five um, uh, minutes from the start to the end. So this really means that the patient needs to lie still for five minutes, get contrast. The pro about this is the patient only needs to breathe freely, gentle, it's all good. But if the patient uh, get a reaction with the contrast or push the emergency button after two minutes or one minute, then the sequence is done. It's finished and you don't have any information at all. You lost the case, right? For the dynamic, you lost. So it's a very, uh, it's a pro and cons. So just keep that in mind. So here in the reconstruction, you have something which calls complete series, reduced series, and complete and reduced. So let's walk it through it. Complete means that you will have everything. You remember, you remember earlier, I told you that there's room for four arterial faces. So this, uh, the, the scanner will give you four arterial faces. When it comes to the PV, it says 14, right? But I only order one here. So it will give you 14 images. So it gives you a lot of images with the whole stack. So the radiologist would have to look through a lot of images, maybe unnecessary images, and it would take a lot of room in the packs and in the scanner. However, you have the possibilities to use reduce series. What does reduce series mean? It means that you get one pre-images, three arterial as you wanted, one PV and one delay. This is more what radiologists are used to, to seeing whenever, whenever they're doing the old school way, or whatever. So you have the last opportunity to choose both complete and reduced. They will become two big, large uh, stacks or, or sequences. So uh, in the beginning, it will be okay to have that. The radiologist will be used to see what they have available and then you can talk to radiologists that and uh, find out what kind of uh, series you want. Okay, so I'm just going to rename this with the original so we know which one. So when are we going to compare it? Start our. So you see the countdown is right there. It went from 22, like I told you, and it's counting down. So inject contrast in 15 seconds, right? You can see the automatic respiratory here. You can see the patient is breathing gentle, breathing normal as it should be. So around five seconds, we get a change right there. It will notice that soon you will inject contrast. So whenever it's zero, there you go. Now you inject contrast, it will automatically scan for five minutes and then you get the images. So we're going to do another one right here. So I will try to optimize it, try to optimize to find out if I could eliminate the streaking artifacts. So like I told you in the beginning, let's look at the saturation bands. I think there is saturation bands which can minimize the artifacts. We go to the geometry, uh, saturation. As, as you can see, 
there is a little bit confusing. Why is the saturation region uh, one? There are two sat there, one and two. Why is over here? The one is over here. It should be on the liver, liver side, right? Maybe. And the two is closest to the liver. I want the one to be as the, as the closest to the liver because that's where my interest of air is. And that's also the sat which works first. So that's why I tried to exchange that. Just put two over to the left and then um, and the number one on the limber side. Because there are no more room for multiple sat there, only room for two sat. And then we're gonna do one more and we're gonna try to optimize number two. So in this, I'm gonna try to put the number two next to number one. So I try to totally eliminate the right side at the liver part. Okay. So we did, we're going to do three, three tests and I will show you results. All right. So let's show you the results. As I told you in the beginning, we have what we call complete series and reduced series, but there's also the third one, which comes as a standard is static in the static is more like averages images uh, of the scanning, the five minute scan the averages of that. So the three tests I did here, and uh, by looking at the images right here, it looks almost more likely the same doesn't have a great impact and there's no streaking artifacts here. So I always also notice that on the stack images, there's no artifacts at all, even though you choose this or choose that method. Nonetheless, let's check the complete series. So this is the, the, the complete series. The first one here is the original. The one here is the sat where number one sat is right there. And the last one is where the saturation, both of them are at the same place, right? First thing I've noticed right here before I show you further is that the streaking right here on the pre-images, there's no contrast here, of course, there on, on those two and on this last one, you, you can't see it. So it's minimize, eliminate, right? The method with the both saturation. Let's go further down here. So just run the video as I told you right there. Let's go to a different slice and then check. So as you can see, there are some streaking there. There's nothing there. And also here at the, at the spleen, nothing there. So this is the thing that's bothered me before, because before you give contrast, you can see the streaking and then whenever contrast arrives, the streaking is gone, right? But I want to have pre-images without the, the, the kind of artifact. So let's check here. You can see there are some there, air interface. There are some there, but not much. There are much more there. So like I said, you cannot totally eliminate it, but you can reduce it. And I also noticed there are some artifacts, right? There's some streaking that goes in the front of the liver right there, which is not much enhanced here. You can see there are some there, but there are much more here. It was, it's a give and take, right? So I mean, let's look at this plane right there. Nothing near. So this is what makes the sequence very difficult. But nonetheless, this is the method I'm doing per day, uh, where I have two saturations next to the liver. And there's something last thing I want to tell you that Look at the inhomogeneity of the fat saturation right there. It's no wonder because you have a saturation which saturate that area, saturate that hand there and there. And here you can see the fat set is still around, of course, because they're in both of the saturation at this side. There's no saturation on that side.